Last month, federal health officials released a troubling report linking so-called forever chemicals to potentially increasing the risk of getting COVID-19. PFAS chemicals are a class of non-stick, waterproof, stain-resistant compounds used in consumer and industrial products. Studies show PFAS exposure could also reduce the effectiveness of certain vaccines in both children and adults. These findings are galvanizing advocates to push for tougher limits for PFAS chemicals in Maine's drinking water. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee has more. Even before the global pandemic, PFAS contamination was a growing concern across the nation and in Maine. Known as forever chemicals because they can remain in the human body and the environment for decades. Chief one control. The chemicals are found in firefighting foams as well as a variety of household products. Exposure has been linked to testicular and kidney cancers, high cholesterol and thyroid disease, and suppressing our body's ability to produce antibodies to fight viruses, including COVID-19. Patrick McCroy is the deputy director of the Environmental Health Strategy Center. That's really troubling as we're contending with an, a major outbreak. In June, the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry, ATSDR, issued a statement about the potential link between PFAS and the virus. Other studies found that includes childhood vaccines and adult vaccines for the flu. The report said, quote, there is evidence from human and animal studies that PFAS exposure may reduce antibody responses to vaccines and may reduce infectious disease resistance. You know, the PFAS chemicals may be weakening folks' immune systems now, uh, and they may make the vaccine less effective. There are no federal safety standards for PFAS in drinking water. The EPA's current health advisory, which is not binding for two of the chemicals, PFOA and PFOS, is at 70 parts per trillion. A final report by Governor Mills' PFAS task force late last year stopped short of recommending lower limits for the chemicals in drinking water. Several New England states, including Vermont and New Hampshire, have adopted much stricter standards. And they just recommend that people follow the outdated EPA standard that's nearly uh, 10 times higher than what would be allowed uh, in neighboring states. Advocates hope to continue to push for new limits for PFAS and drinking water when the legislature reconvenes. Redstone's century-old dairy farm was shut down after PFAS was discovered in the groundwater, soil, and milk 10 times the EPA's safe limit. A pending bill that would change Maine's statute of limitations law would allow the dairy farmer to sue in civil court. We really want to see that get through uh, this year uh, so that folks like Fred Stone can uh, go to court and try to get justice for what has happened to them. A bill authorizing regulators to clean up sites contaminated by the chemicals and require those responsible to pay for it passed the main house before the pandemic hit. It's not known when any of these bills will be taken up by lawmakers in the future. In Arundel, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.